What is going on YouTube? My name is Danny Boy and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. This time, this is the first episode of our new series, Let's Party. Woo! Yeah, party so far, alright. New series is called the funnest class setups. Now I kind of started this series as a best class setups, but with my new look on Call of Duty is just have fun. We are now doing funnest class setups. And I am coming at you today with I think this is a fitting class. This is possibly the most hated class in Call of Duty, and that's like to go up against. But that's not saying it isn't fun to use. This is one of the funnest classes to use. I mean, like, a lot of people hate on it, but I don't know. I'm like, yeah, part of the game, even though it's trying to be overpowered, but this class is really overpowered. But I, I still don't hate it. I mean, like, yeah, cool part of the game. So what it is, yeah, is it's coming at you with a riot shield, with the radar attachment, the P-22-6s, with the dual wield, um, two C-4s, a strong arm, Danger Close and Reflex. So that was just the overall class. So we're just going to go over each in depth now. So first of all, the main time you'll ever see this class used is in Search and Destroy. And that is because you die a lot. I'm just going to put it out there right now. You die a lot using this class because really your C4s are your main weapon and you only have two of them. So after you've got two kills, it's kind of hard to get uh, other kills unless you're really, really up close and personal. And But in saying that, it is easy to use that class in other maps. So you see me being extra resourceful. I didn't have the range to get that kill, so I just picked up a sniper, sniped him in the head, and moved on with my life. In, as I was about to say, in saying that, this is very easy to use in other game modes, as long as you support kill tricks as you see me using. The most you've ever really get is like a five kill streak, unless you pick up other weapons and go on about it. You see me getting a little bit greedy. I really wanted this care package, but as I was I killed. And that's another thing, you've really got to stay close quarters. Like, as you see me camping in Overlord, there's two really open areas on either side of the middle building, and then the middle building, the middle building is really up close and personal. So you see me camp, not camping, we're just going to say holding off the middle building a lot. Now, just quickly, just in, like, interrupting, this gameplay is amazing. I'm not going to ruin it, but I'm in front of, the, well, I'm not in front anymore, but I get, I stay close to the leader, and as you, you see me at the end, stage this amazing comeback and that's an and it's like and the comeback the comeback will blow your mind so back to the class as on as you see on screen now this is right so that that little thing that's a radar attachment let me explain why the radar attachment is so amazingly good you see me using it like I run past some people and then see them on my radar and just turn and just smash them in the face with either a C4 or my pistols and so, what the radar attachment does is, as long as you are holding the right shield, as you can see, if you look at my mini-map next time I spawn, and see that little pulse, it's like a mini radar pulse around you, so you can see anyone around you, as long as they're not using the perks that, um, make you, I think it's blind eye, the perks that make you immune to UAV pulses, and not many people use it, so this class is really good, so you can see people all around you. So that's why I recommend, while using this class, running with the right shoot out. I mean, it's really slow running, but you shouldn't be doing much running anyway. Like, the only running you should be doing is to get yourself set up. As you see me have the graceful timing to watch that C4 fly through the air and him, and just let him accept his death and me smash, and me just pressing that C4 at the right time. As you see, I probably wouldn't have got this guy if it wasn't for the radar, but I saw him on the radar, so I ran out and challenged it, and then went back. So as we move on, the secondary, the P-22-6 pistol, or the P-22-6 pistol with jeweled attachment, this gun melts up close. Full stop, it's just plain melts. Like, hot knife through butter melts. It's just crazy how much this melts. I mean, you can use the M9A1s, I think they were called M9A1s or something, because uh, they have the highest fire rate in the class. If you if you got a really good trigger finger, oh, modern controller, just keep that on the download. 
Sam, you put a C4 in my own face, but the right shield blocks it. That's the beauty about the right shield. The right, the right shield blocked it, the grunt of the blast. Yeah, so, but are you like using the P226 because they have the highest damage, or they, they have a balanced damage and fire rate, so that's why they are so good. Moving on, the C4, I mean, like, mm, it's the best. You could use grenades if you like that hardcore and cook them, but C4, C4 is obviously the way to go. If you're not serving C4 sandwiches for lunch, what are you doing? He just, he just like runs over the top of it. I don't even get a hit mark. I mean, like, that dude is like Houdini. He just like makes his leg disappear in the split second that it explodes and then his legs come straight back. Moving on to the perks on screen now, as I've already said, strong arm to make me throw those C4s just that bit further. I mean, that's really important. As you saw in that kill where the C4 just flew through the air and it took about a minute and that guy was trying to shoot me. I wouldn't have been able to throw the C4 that far if it wasn't the strong arm. Next one, reflex to make me A, throw the C4 faster, which is definitely important, and B, excuse me, and B, be able to swap to my pistols faster. I mean, that split second is what often keeps me alive in this, because being able to swap to your pistols fast means you have less time exposed from, like, have your front exposed. And as you say, this guy just knifes me. He's like, he just makes a slurping sound and like rolls around the ground and knifes me. And Danger Close. Danger Close is the main thing, main perk in this setup. Danger Close is the one to run. Because what it does is, if you didn't know, it makes the explosion radius bigger and makes the explosions stronger. So, as you can see, uh, is it here? Have I already called him Oracle? Yeah, it's here. Watch this, watch this. Bam, 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 bam. I'm seeing through the open. You might be like, lol, what? This guy, Warhax, no! Warhax, why? But I, I just saw him with the Oracle. I mean, like, Oracles are OP. But yeah, Danger Coach really makes this class. I, I, I was going to highlight this earlier, but if you want, you can use Blast Shield just to give you that extra bit of protection. But as long as you're throwing the C4 with your right shield out, the right shield blocks most of the damage, so you shouldn't die. So blast shield isn't really needed. And as I highlighted early in this video, moving on to the perks, just use support. It's a lot better. I mean, if if I were you and I was playing free for all, I would use the satcom. I would swap the ammo crate for ballistic vest because that just gives the extra health. But I haven't unlocked them because I'm early in this, early in this dude. And this guy just out pistol whips me, but that's alright. I still so now I'm two points behind, and this this care package could make or break my Call of Duty free for all career. Let's just say that. Alright, I'm done with like the commentary. I'm just gonna commentary on the game now because oh my god, it's a sentry gun. I mean that's alright, but I never know where to place sentry guns because they're so exposed from behind. The dude coming first goes to 26 kills. I'm five kills behind. As you can see, I saw that dude on my minimap from having my right shield out. So he just got turned on. He got he's like so turned on now. He's got a hard on for me. You can see me just going off with my pistols. I'm like, alright, gotta put this sentry gun somewhere, so I just chuck it down anywhere. That's that's not a very good place because it's so exposed from behind. I'm four kills behind this dude. I think it's about to come out five. I've launched my C4 straight across the alley. Give one dude a C4 sandwich. My my sentry gun is going off. Now I'm only two kills behind. This I preempt a C4 there, but I get shot from behind. So I don't get that kill. This dude is about to go to 28 kills. I'm pretty sure. I'm running across. I'm just trying to get to where people are. I just want to find people so I can C4 sandwich them. I get double teamed by two people. My my sentry gun takes out another person. So I'm only two kills behind. This guy moves to 28. I give this guy... I am I amputate his legs. I level up, get payback five times to C4. I'm now a staff sergeant too. I run up the stairs. I'm one kill behind. My sentry gun has been destroyed. So now it's just gonna come down to pure gun skill. I get I get two kills, I get a double with my pistol, goes for the triple, but then I blow myself up. I just need one more kill on my favorite because this guy can just get an easy double and just absolutely smoke me and that's you wouldn't be seeing this. I throw a safer up there, just trying to preempt. I'm being shot from behind. I look out, try to find someone. I'm like, all right, I have to go to this guy. Throw a C4, he nearly kills me, and he explodes, and I kill him. Oh, I'm so excited. I press the home screen button. I'm going off. And that is the end of this country. I hope you enjoyed it. The most hater class in Call of Duty, but it's one of the most funnest to use. I don't use this very often, but when I do, I have so much fun as he just gets blown to smithereens. He gets blown to infinity and beyond.